Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this is Nurul Huda and in this particular video, I'll be talking about that what is the effective way to attempt online exams like GATE and IIT JAM. Now, this particular method or whatever I'm going to talk about in this particular video, you can apply this in any online exam, but since GATE and IIT JAM are quite near and those exams are approaching, so the video will be those centric only, okay? I'll be talking about from the GATE and IIT JAM centric. So basically this method or whatever way I'm going to talk about in the video, is going to be focused on two very important things the first thing is so that you don't get panicked in the exam there are like the method in which there should be less panicking about the question and the second thing is to manage the time okay you are getting three hours that is 180 minutes you have to manage that to do 65 questions in gate exam all right so the video is going to be like the method basically whatever i'm telling you is going to be focused on these two important factors now i have seen students giving exam with a normal method Normal method means you go, you sign in and as the exam starts, the first question, you see that question. If you know, you do. If you don't know, you go to the next. Then again, you read that. Try to solve it. If you are done with it, then good. Not done with it, go to the next one. So this is how the normal method uh, like is being followed. And I guess most of you follow the same method. So there are certain problems which a student generally face with the online interface of the exam. The first one is they can only see a question at a time, like one question at a time. So, although there are options to see whole question paper in gate exam, also I guess in IIT jam, but uh, while giving the question, it's not, the student is not that much attentive to go back and read whole question paper, he just simply reads one by one, right? So, that's the one thing. The second thing is that it's difficult to choose that which question has to be done. That means, let's say I'm right now, I'm giving the exam and I'm reading question number three, let's say. So, if the question number three seems to be difficult for me, now, I, I will feel that shall I leave it or not because question number four also I don't know whether that question I will be able to do or not. Okay, so that is something and that's what we uh, call it as a surprise factor. So here in the online exam, every question is a surprise for the student. So when you are doing a particular question, the next question actually is a surprise for you at that time. Right, so you are not, you are not aware that whether you will be able to do the next one or not. So that's why it's difficult for the student for that time or for that moment to understand that how much time he has to invest in that particular question which he is reading okay the next thing which affects a lot is being panic let's say i'm doing questions from uh, serial wise let's say question one two three so on i am doing I, I have been keep on doing and i am able to do question number up to let's say four or five sixth question is a difficult question and it took a lot of time of me and it is a difficult one i am not able to solve it what happens over there your morale goes down okay your confidence goes down now once your confidence goes down that affects the next question so even though if the question number uh, seven or if the question number eight would be easy one then also because you got panicked in question number six those questions will seems to be difficult for you okay and this whole thing this whole thing makes everything messed up okay you might have experienced this that after giving the exam after completing the exam when you come back to home you will analyze the question and then you see, okay, why did I make this mistake? It was such a simple question. How did I make such a mistake? The reason is because you got panicked in some question back then, okay? Let's say two or three questions before you just got panicked over there. So these are certain points which make or which affects your, uh, your exam uh, progress or basically how you are going to uh, perform in the exam. So your performance is going to be affected by all these factors. What I'm going to suggest you is a three round method. Now, that's what I call it. You can call it with any other name, but yeah, in this method, I would suggest you to go through the exam in three rounds, okay? There are three rounds which I have divided the whole question into, like whole uh, exam into. Basically, you get 180 minutes or let's say three hours for the exam. What you have to do is, first of all, you have to start round one. In round one, as soon as you start your question, exam, the, in that way, you have to give 40 minutes to round one. What do you have to do in round one? In round one, you just have to read questions, okay? And you have to answer only those questions which you are super comfortable with, okay? So the first thing which you have to do is in the first 40 minutes, you have to read all the questions. Start from question number one, go till the question number 65 or whatever question are there, okay? Number of questions. So just read all of them, okay? And which question you have to answer? You just have to answer those questions which you are super comfortable with now you might agree with it that in exam especially in any of these like gate exam or jam exam there will be some questions which will be asked from the previous years okay or there will be some questions which will be super super simple 
so you have to answer those questions in this round so round one contains what or round one uh, is going to be what round one is going to be about reading the question paper thoroughly and also answering the super simple question now you don't have to invest much time in this round okay 40 minutes is more than sufficient for this round now when you have done with this uh, like 40 minutes and one more thing which you have to do in this particular round is you have to divide the questions in three forms okay you will get three types of questions the first type of question as i told you will be super simple repeated questions or similar questions which have been asked in previous years which you have already practiced a lot you are aware about them and you can simply answer them without doing anything okay without calculating just memory based questions or just logical question or just concept based questions okay you don't have to apply calculation and all to do that question so that's the first type of question is so the second type of questions are which you are comfortable with but you know that it is going to take time calculative questions or some questions where three or four steps are involved to get the answer so those type of questions comes under this category so what you have to do for those questions you just have to mark for review okay if you are aware about the interface of the exam you might know this thing already that there is an option of mark for review uh, i'll give you a screenshot of that that how does it looks but yeah uh, mark for review option helps you to just like to just have a note of those questions that yes these questions are there which you know but they are going to take time and that's what you have to do in the round two the third type of questions are which you don't have any idea about now like you might have seen in the previous years of exams also like every time you will get at least some of the questions will be there in the exam which you will have no idea about because they will be either asked from some research paper or they will be asked uh, in a way that they have some exceptional case or something okay so now these type of questions comes under the third category so now what you have done in round one itself you have done three things first you have read all the questions okay you have read now you have idea that all the questions are like which questions are there in the exam what is the level of exam you have already an idea of whether the exam is difficult or easy you have an idea of second thing is you have scrutinized the questions in three parts one is super simple question the second ones are the one which you know but are going to have some time like they are going to take some time and the third one are difficult ones which you don't have any idea about so three types of questions you have scrutinized and the third thing which you have done is you have already answered the super simple questions so by the end of round one that means by the end of 40 minutes you will be done with super simple questions they will be around out of 65 around 15 to 20 questions at least will be super simple questions so you have already answered about them now you have to go in round two you have you can give two hours for that and in two hours you can just do, do those questions for which we have dedicated that that means the questions which you have marked for review in the first round okay so the questions which you have marked for review in the first round those questions you can do in the round number two okay and then at the end you will be end up like you will be getting around 30 to 20 minutes based upon that how quickly you cover up in round number two so that particular last 30 or 20 minutes are going to be dedicated to those questions which you don't have any idea about so now those times are you have those times those time like those 20 or 30 minutes you have that and you can do like you can just uh, devote those time to those type of questions which you don't have any idea but you want to take risk okay so that's how it helps and it makes it easy for you to approach the questions of different types in a different way now let me tell you that what are the advantages of it now since we have discussed we have understood that what is this three round method and what actually we have to do but what are the advantages is it going to be effective or not so yes the first thing is that the first advantage is that that you are aware about all the questions by the end of 40 minutes of the question like exam so by the end of 40 minutes you are now aware about each and every question which is there in the question paper and you know the level of exam and you know that uh, like uh, which question you have to do and which question you have to do at the end so you have now you have judged like you have that ability to judge those questions whether to do them whether to devote time for them now or whether to devote time for them at the end that means in the round three so this will help and this will save time it seems like when i tell somebody about this method it seems on on verbal way it seems like it is going to be time taking but no it saves time how it saves time? So let me give you a very simple example let's say there are two people a person a and a person b person a is giving exam from the normal method he is doing from question 1 2 3 4 5 6 and like that let's say question number 6 
was a difficult question as I took in the previous example question number six is a difficult question so now he has given a lot of time to question number six because he thinks that okay I will be able to do it so he is giving time to that and he has wasted some time let's say at the end he was not able to get the answer of that or uh, he has got a difficult question so what is going to happen that question number six is going to kill a lot of time which he could have invested in the other questions but a person number B who is doing it from this three round method he would have kept that question number six for the end so by the end of uh, the paper when he has already done the question which he knew he has some extra time now he can devote that, those time to question number six and the others which he would have marked for round number three right so this is how it helps again the next thing is that it will help you to get less panic in fact this is going to build up your confidence because in first round in in first 40 minutes if you will be able to do this much good questions or this much super simple questions and by your way you you have done those correctly only right so those 40 minutes are going to behave as a warm-up for your mind first of all your mind will be now in a mode to tackle more difficult questions and secondly uh, you will be having a lot of confidence that, that yes I have done this much question I can do more so two things are going to happen first your confidence will build up and second you will be less panic and you will be able to like face the questions more confidently all right now uh, that's what I said simple question act will act as your confidence booster I already told you about that right now this were all some of the advantages of this method and I have been using this method in the previous exams wherever I have given online exam and I have seen that this helps and many of my students who follow uh, they have also found this useful so uh, if you find this method effective if you think that yes this concept is going to be effective do try this okay and one more thing which I would tell you that you should be aware about the interface of the exam okay how the interface is going to be in the final exam so for that gate always provide mock test so the link for those mock tests is there in the description of this video you can click on that link and you will be taken to the gate website where you can give that mock test so do give these mock tests and get used to the interface because there should be no surprise factor for the exam okay this surprise factor just panic you and they just like they just affect your performance all right so this was a particular method which i wanted to share with you if you are going to give the exam of gate or for uh, for your IIT jam do try this particular method and do let me know in the comments what you think about this method whether this method will be effective or not for you all right so uh, at this point I'll just end up this video that's all from my side and thank you so much for watching this video and if you found this particular method useful do share it with your friends also and give this video a like if you want you can subscribe to the channel I'll see you guys in the next video till then have a great day bye bye